Hi, I'm Liz Heineke, the Kitchen Pantry Scientist, and I'm also a science communicator and an author. And today I'm going to talk to you about an important scientist and inventor named Dr. Patricia Bath. So we're going to do two things today. First, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read her biography from my book, Biology for Kids. Um, and a biography is sort of her life story. And then we're going to do a hands-on project um, using saran wrap. So if you don't have these things, um, go ahead and grab them. You'll need saran wrap or some kind of plastic wrap. You will need wax paper, but you could also use tissue paper or parchment paper. And then you'll need either two toilet paper rolls or a paper towel roll that you have measured and cut in half into two approximately equal pieces. Finally, you will need a couple rubber bands. Okay, so let's get started with the story of Dr. Patricia Bath. And this is a portrait of her um, done by the artist Kellyanne Dalton that is in um, my book. Patricia Bath, a chemistry set. Patricia Bath was born in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City in 1942. Her father was a subway train operator and her mother worked as a housekeeper when she wasn't taking care of Patricia and her brother so she could save money for their education. Patricia's parents always encouraged her to work hard in school and her mother sparked her interest in chemistry and science when she bought Patricia her first chemistry set. Patricia was an outstanding math and science student in high school and discovered that she loved biology, which is the science of life. When she was 16, cancer cell research she did at a workshop sponsored by the National Science Foundation was so impressive that it was included in an academic paper, which is a really big deal for a 16 year old. After earning a bachelor's degree in chemistry, she attended Howard University's College of Medicine where she received her medical degree in 1967. That year, following the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., she organized her fellow medical students to volunteer their time and talents to help people in their community who could not afford health care. When Patricia Bath, who is now Dr. Bath, returned home to work at Harlem Hospital, she noticed that there were more blind patients there than at a neighboring hospital where she also worked. She continued her education, doing a residency to become an ophthalmologist, which is an expert in eyes and vision. When Dr. Bath's research demonstrated that certain groups of people suffered from more eye problems than others, she wanted to understand why and help address the problem. So Dr. Bath set up an eye clinic at Harlem Hospital Center, where she started doing eye surgeries and in 1972, she got married and had a daughter named Erica. The family moved to Los Angeles where Dr. Bath continued working to improve surgical treatments for blind patients. She invented a medical device that dissolves cloudy lenses called cataracts, which can form on the eyes of older people. And that's related to the project that we're about to do. Once the cataracts are gone, new lenses can be put in. She patented four more devices for eye surgeries, and thanks to her inventions, people who were blind for decades were able to see again. Throughout her career, Dr. Bath addressed issues in society that contributed to vision problems, such as poverty and inadequate access to health care. Dr. Patricia Bath was a partner of the American Institute of Blindness, whose motto is, eyesight is a basic human right. She died in 2019, but her contributions to surgical equipment and eye care are still used in clinics around the world every day. So you can see what an amazing person she was and how she made the quality of life for so many people so much better by allowing them to regain their vision. Okay, so now we are going to, I'm gonna put Dr. Bath's picture right here and we're gonna do a project related to her work. So you will take your two tubes and go ahead and look through them. And if you look around, you'll see that everything you see looks pretty darn clear. And that's because you are young and healthy and the lenses of your eyes are fairly clear. And the lenses on your eyes are curved, clear structures 
that focus light on the cells on the back of your eyes and form images. And the cells on the back of your eyes um, send those images through nerves to your brain and you can process the information and that's how you see. What can happen in older people is that these clear lenses can become clouded. So people who have, and that, that is called cataracts, and people who have cataracts describe having these cloudy lenses on their eyes as sort of like if you're looking through a frosty window. Um, so it makes it hard for them to see. So to sort of experience what it might feel like to have cataracts or look like to have cataracts, I'm gonna go ahead and take your um, wax paper or tissue paper or parchment paper and cut a couple of squares out that are big enough to fit over the ends of your tubes. So now we're gonna imagine what it looks like to have cataracts. So I've cut a couple of squares. I'm gonna put them over the end of my tubes and then just put rubber bands around them. So I did that, whoa, I did that with one tube. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kinda of try to get the idea. But if you can try to make it kind of smooth, you a better chance of seeing through it. Okay, now once you've done this, you're gonna take these eye tubes and look through them again, and you'll probably be able to make out some shapes, but when I look at the camera, when I look around my kitchen, I can't see very well. And I can sort of imagine what it would look like to have really, really bad cataracts. It would really, really damage your, your ability to see clearly. So, Dr. Patricia Bath, um, one of her inventions was a really, really good way to do surgery to remove, to use lasers to remove these cloudy lenses from people's eyes. But once they remove the old lenses, they have to replace them with new lenses that are made out of um, plastics, basically. So, let's just, let's just pretend we're doing a little cataract surgery. We remove the old lenses cut a couple pieces of plastic wrap that are big enough to fit over, once again, the ends of your tube. And then take your rubber bands and put them over the ends of your tubes to represent what it might be like to have cataract surgery and have the clouded lenses oops, replaced. Plastic wrap is such a pain. Back when I worked in a lab, we had to use it a lot and I was really good at it, but lately I haven't had to use it quite so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take this plastic wrap. Woo, all kinds of things are happening. When you're doing science projects, my plastic wrap got kind of messed up. If things don't work perfectly the first time, don't worry about it, just try it again. It's part of doing science projects. Okay, so now I have replaced the cloudy lenses that were over my eyes with clear plastic lenses, which is similar to what happens when people have cataract surgery. I'm looking through them and I can see my kitchen, I can see the trees, I can see you. So, to summarize, Dr. Patricia Bath was a very important scientist and inventor who helped people see more clearly. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, science rocks. <laughs>